I think he is the absolute dogs, you know what. I think he's brilliant. <laughs> um, I, I think he's a great player, maybe a captain one day. Um, but also, I just there's something about him that has been picked up on social media, and that's about how double hard he seems to be in, in the snow. I, I've never really met or had a proper conversation with him, but I've heard, you heard stories of him, obviously. And like what? Like, this is what I would say. It's going to sound disrespectful, but it's actually not. He's like the James Milner. He's yeah. the best trainer. He's the best professional. Yep. And to other people outside of it, they'll be like, oh, Milner is not the fancy name. But within the game, Milner's yep. respect level is through the roof. He's, he's the consummate professional. That's the guy you want to be. And I've heard he's exactly the same. And when you spoke about Ali, when he come down, I've heard he, again, might be all fake, but from yep. what I'm hearing from reliable people, is that he was, he was mustard. Like, he turned up, trained every day. Yep was gutted that every time he kept breaking down, his family's with him and he's he's immersed himself into what Arsenal's about. Exactly what you said though, he's he's used to playing for a big team. Like people don't I don't think understand how big Celtic and Rangers actually yeah. are. It's, that's the it's mentality. Mon yeah, it's monumental. So his, his mentality is his education, mm -hmm. you know, at Celtic with, with, with Brendan and guys like that, you know, you're, you're inbred into a, 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 a football club where, you know, they, effectively they've just got to win. You have mm -hmm. to, I mean, it's, it sounds like an obvious thing to say, but you've got to win and you've got to do everything right. You've got to lead your life right. You've got to work hard because, you know, and, and it's wonderful to see because a big Celtic supporter as he was, you know, um, he, he was fantastic at Celtic but I felt the time was right for him to move on I mm. really do and I think Arsenal was a great choice of club mm. um, for for both parties um, and, and I just knew that the one thing that the, that the Arsenal fans would be guaranteed and, and I, I speaking to a couple of them um, would you, I'm, I'm sure you'll agree they just love the, the, the freshness the honesty the, the, the spirit that he shows mm. which is a little bit dare I say it a little bit of a throwback mm -hmm. mm. You know, you're exactly right. That's what Arsenal fans want to see. They want to see players that want to pull on the shirt yeah. and and really play for it, which has been quite lacking, I think, lately. I think I think players do as well, though. Mm. Of if course. you're, you know, and I don't want to be disrespectful and bring the the guys' credibility into it, but you look at Özil from a player's perspective, you're looking at somebody who's immensely talented, but he's not playing. You look at someone that, like Tierney, as Ali said, he's massively just buzzing to be at a club like yeah. that, buzzing for, for the um, the lifestyle and the opportunity. And he's working day in, day out. And and I think he, I think the young boys, your sackers and people like that, are looking at him and going, that's what it's all about. Neil Smith-Rowe as well, like yeah. an, another player that's just been shining, that people are, actually Arsenal fans were clamouring, get him on the pitch, mm -hmm. get him yeah. to start games. And, and now they're making the difference, actually, and, and showing the senior players up in many respects. 100% and they're and setting the tone and I said it earlier with Saka he's, he's now made it so Willian and Pepe have to do a minimum of what he does in terms of work rate yeah. they've all got quality yep. you're, ne you're never going to question the quality of the players but it's the mentality of the work rate and are you going to cover the hard yards but just qu quickly going back to Tierney I think what's different with him and Robertson is I think he's a much better defender yeah. you know, like a natural yeah. defender like, yeah. and it's, you're talking about probably the two best left backs in the league